Realty Powder Actuated Tool cleaned and well maintained is key to ensuring the best performance possible when using your tool. But how do you know how often to clean it or when to replace parts? That's a great question. We recommend that you at least clean your powder actuated tool after approximately every 5,000 shots or earlier if you experience a reduction in performance. A good rule of thumb to go by is if you look at your tool and it looks like it needs to be cleaned, it's probably a pretty good sign it needs some attention. Another indicator is when performing the same application using the same cartridge that the nails aren't driving as well and you're having to increase power to compensate, probably time to do some cleaning. If you notice that the piston is difficult to remove, this could be from excess powder residue buildup and that means your tool definitely needs to be cleaned. All Hilti DX powder actuated tools come with wire brushes, a cleaning cloth, and spray lubricant, as well as a user manual with instructions on proper care and maintenance. First, always make sure the cartridges are removed before starting any work on your tool, then disassemble the tool. Refer to your operator's instruction manual for complete details on disassembly of your particular tool. Use the brushes to remove debris and powder residue buildup from around the piston, the piston guide sleeve, and the fastener guide. Next, use the spray lubricant provided with the tool to lubricate the parts. And then use the cleaning cloth to wipe away any excess lubricant, leaving a thin film. Don't apply lubricant to the booster chamber. And Ryan, it's important to mention that you should only use Hilti Spray Lubricant. It's a non-flammable lubricant, which helps to break down on the powder residue, and it's specifically designed for Hilti Powder Actuated Tools. That's a great point, Gentry. Uh, besides cleaning, you will want to check the common wear items on the tool and replace them as needed. An example would be the piston, the buffer, the shear clip, or the stop ring, with the specific part dependent on the tool model you are using. So how often is part replacement necessary, you might ask? Well, that all depends on the number of fastenings you do, to the color cartridge or power level you use, as well as a variety of other factors. Even the hardness of the base material can have an effect on how often you have to replace parts. So every time you clean your tool, examine all the parts and replace those that are starting to show wear and tear. If you're doubtful of the part condition, go ahead and replace it. Now once you've cleaned your tool and replaced the wear parts as needed, reassemble the tool. And without loading any cartridges, dry fire the tool several times by compressing the nose piece and pulling the trigger, making sure your tool operates smoothly and correctly. Now if you don't feel comfortable changing out these parts, then contact your Hilti account manager or Hilti customer service for assistance. Regular cleaning and proper tool maintenance mean less downtime and more consistent quality in your fastenings. 